Idaho continues to gather more information about COVID-19 and just about every night we report those numbers, but they only tell part of the story. Our Misty Inglet spent today crunching those numbers to give us a closer look at some of the trends we're seeing. Misty, pretty interesting find. There's a lot on here to unpack, Kim. So if you take a look at the state website, which I've got pulled up right here, you really need to know what you're looking at. So if we zoom in and take a closer look, you can see right there in the center, it shows there are about 1,900 cases statewide. Now, it's important to keep in mind here that the state also factors in probable cases. And if you hover over that, you can see right there, it will tell you total lab confirmed cases versus probable cases. Now, if you subtract the 60 deaths that we've had statewide and a little over the 1,100 recovered patients, that actually leaves us about 800 active cases in the state right now. So that's one part of the website. Let's take a look at what else is on here. On March 13th, Idaho reported its first confirmed case of coronavirus. Since then, the number of cases statewide has continued to climb, but not in every county. Currently, 32 of Idaho's 44 counties have 10 or fewer confirmed COVID cases. Of those, 11 counties have no reported cases at all. So far, three Idaho counties are reporting deaths in the double digits. Ada County and Nez Perce are tied for the most with 16 deaths, and Twin Falls County is the next highest at 11. Now, let's look at the demographics behind the COVID cases. First, Age. Those 18 to 29 years old have the most people getting sick at 401 cases. However, when you look at age fatalities, the opposite is true. 38 Idahoans over the age of 80 have died more than any other age range. There are currently no deaths under the age of 50. When it comes to men versus women, the majority of those sick, 53.5%, are women. But more men are dying, reporting 55% of total COVID deaths. Another number that changes often, testing. The state is reporting more than 28,000 completed lab tests, and that number is expected to continue increasing as Idaho continues its fight against COVID-19. few other key statistics from the website. It also breaks down hospitalizations across the state. It shows 175 COVID cases have resulted in hospitalizations with 74 of those being admitted to the ICU. It also shows that there have been 251 confirmed cases of the virus among Idaho's healthcare workers. Kim? Yeah, Misty, you unpacked a lot there. So much to tell behind those numbers, so thanks for that. And we've been tracking the numbers and we'll continue to do so. Remember, KTVB is only tracking confirmed cases, not probable ones. And that's why our numbers may differ slightly from the states. You can find an interactive graph and map with all of this information right now at KTVB.com.